All right, guys, welcome back to the range out here at Osprey Shooting Solutions. We are out here with our brother Edgar, owner of Osprey Shooting Solutions. And uh, we again, we're back to try to figure out uh, the answer to the age old question, who's better, a Navy SEAL or a Green Beret? All right, uh, that's a broad question. So we, we've got to challenge each other in many different ways. So today is gonna to be a little different type of challenge. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Now, thus far, the last video, thus far, the Green Beret is crushing it, dude. And uh, he's, he's way ahead. The last video, if you haven't watched it, go back and check it out. Edgar came up with an awesome challenge out here on the range and, uh, and really just sent it home, man. Awesome job, brother. Um, you know, Edgar, it's interesting the first time that, that I came out here to Osprey to shoot one of your competitions, uh, you just had to go there, man. You just had <laughs> to make the comment uh, and, oh. and, 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 and engage me in front of every other competitor and say, hey, Chad, have you, ha has your book came out yet? You just had to go there, man. So... You know, you, you can go ahead and, and just and we, pat yourself on the back <laughs> for this challenge that and we is weren't even up. really homies. We just met and That's still right, I man. had to ask. You, you, had, you had to go there. <laughs> so you guys know, you guys know almost every uh, Navy SEAL personality out there has a book, right? You see very few Green Berets, at least from this most current war that we've been engaged in, uh, that have books out there. I've never understood why that is the case, but the more I think about it, the more I believe it's just that these Green Berets don't know how to write cool <laughs> stories. They don't know how to tell cool stories about the things they did. And maybe it's because they don't look as cool as we look when we're out doing it, right? So maybe our memory of what we do, because we yeah. look so cool, yeah. just drives us to write those books, man. Um, you got any input? On, on, what, what's going on with your teammates, man? Well, man, I, there, there's a few good books out there, but I, if you, you guys know that one of the catchphrases uh, for Special Forces is quiet professionals. Now, that being said, there's a handful of Green Berets running around who ain't very quiet about anything but uh, and have recently written a book, coincidentally, but... Uh, I don't know, man. I think Navy SEAL just has a better marketing department or something. You, do, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Naval Special Warfare Marketing Department? Uh, well, well, because you know, they I'll all get... started it with Marcus Luttrell. That, yeah. And, and, and the Navy actually published that yeah. book for him. So Now, everybody should, if they're not doing it, I, I'm pretty sure anybody who's writing about actual operations, they got to get that vetted through SOCOM. Yeah. All right, to get, to get it vetted. And, but uh, the thing I remember is I'm pretty sure, now correct me if I'm wrong, there was a movie called Act of Valor. Yeah. That started out as a Navy SEAL recruiting video. It did, yeah. And then it became a movie. So, but yeah, with Marcus Luttrell, and, and it's not so much that they write books, but they turn them into movies like immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, you don't see many Green Beret now. There's 12 Strong out there, which was, I'm going to say loosely based on a, an actual book. And that was serious business, but yeah, they get they get embedded, and Navy does it too. They they get vetted through so common all that. So so I like that. It's the it's your 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 um, your view on it is that Naval Special Warfare just has a better, better marketing, marketing department. department yeah. My view is that these guys just don't know how to write, and they don't look cool enough when they're out there doing what they're doing. So it doesn't inspire them. Uh, now the Seal Creed says. I do not seek recognition for my work, all right? <laughs> I do not seek recognition for my actions, all right? It doesn't say I do not tell cool stories about what I did <laughs> with my entire life, yeah, yeah. all right? So uh, that's, that's, that's my rebuttal yeah. to a uh, quiet yeah. professional. Uh, you know, and that's a, that's a big topic, man, being a quiet professional. You know, I totally get that. I totally get that when you are, when you are engaged, when you're, when you're in it, man, when you are active duty, you're doing the job day in and day out. Man, I didn't have social media. I didn't know what Instagram was until just maybe two years ago. And um, what I got, what I realized when I got out of the Navy is, well, daggone, this is what I've done my entire life. 
And if I don't talk, I don't have anything to talk about other than yeah, this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> so uh, that's where all my cool stories come from. Uh, we are actually going to solve this right here. <laughs> We're going to see if it's, uh, if it's on account of an NSW marketing department or if it's on account of these guys just not being able to write and tell cool stories because we're about to break away. We're going to spend some time, each me and Edgar, writing a story for you guys. We're going to come back. We're going to read our story to you, and then you guys are going to vote in the comments of who writes the best book, the Green Beret or the Navy SEAL. Get ready for this Man. one. All right, guys. Ten minutes goes fast when you're when you're writing. That went quick. Yeah. <laughs> Probably was no time for you guys, but um, hey, it's time to settle. It's time to settle this, man. Who writes the best book, a Navy SEAL or a Green Beret? Uh, I'll go ahead and kick this off. Now, remember, you guys listen closely because you got to vote in the comments here of who has the best story. Um, we didn't, I don't, you didn't get to completion, did you? No, no. I didn't, didn't either. Uh, I chose to go with an old story that actually saved my butt many a times in SEAL training. And uh, here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. So there I was in the midst of the densest forest known to man. My rifle was slung on my shoulder, locked and loaded, or so I thought. At the base of a mountain, I knew I was about to have to be required to climb. The darkness was so black on this night that I could not see my hand in front of my face. The old hound, Dixie, finally opened and broke the silence for the first time in hours. The monkey perched on my left shoulder slowly turned its head in the direction of the baying hound. I could see the flash of intensity in that monkey's eyes out of my peripheral vision. Dixie let out two dying balls and turned her bark over into a fast chopping cadence. And we made our way up the mountain to Dixie's now stationary location. We, me and my monkey that is, Finally made it to the base of a massive white oak tree where Dixie said our quarry was located. I lifted up my lantern to try to see the reflecting eyes of our quarry. Nothing. My dim light would never reach the tops of this massive timber. I handed my monkey a 22 pistol and sent him up the tree. That's as far as I got. <laughs> That's all I got. That's as far as I got. Uh, was, uh, I got. Was the monkey metaphorical? Well, I guess we'll never well, know. I don't know. We, we, we need more time, right. man. We may, we may have to run this again. Mine's a, mine's a little different. All right. Y'all ready for this? Send it, bro. Now, this is just... I can go pitch this idea tomorrow. It's just the beginning of a uh, book. Roger that. All right. The day Lawrence retired from Army Special Forces, he was faced with the most daunting challenge that he'd ever faced, what to do with his life. Mm -hmm. He'd amassed a set of skills over a long career, but at this moment, those skills seemed useless. His wife supported him without question. His children were all grown, so how would he make his living? After watching the 80s classic Navy Seals with Charlie Sheen, he knew what he must do. <laughs> Lawrence knew that given a chance, he could bring true military authenticity to any movie or story involving the revered pretty boys of special operations, the SEALs. Lawrence set about building his IMD profi profile, IMDB profile and getting his glamour shots together to present to an action movie executive in Hollywood. Of course, he had to tell a little lie and say he was a SEAL, as Hollywood doesn't know the difference between Green Berets and Navy SEALs. And that's, that was it. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be hard to top that one, son. Shh. Edgar may have just put, uh, Edgar may have just put this oh, age man. old uh, <laughs> question to rest right here, man. Solid work, solid work. Well, hey, me and Edgar are both gonna be watching the comments <laughs> of, uh, 
of, of, of this video here to see what you guys have to say. Um, and uh, let us know, man, if you want to know what happens to the monkey and you want to know how it goes with Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and we might get out here and continue, continue this tale on one day. So we don't know who wins this one until the video comes out. But um, you guys drop it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to move on to the third stage of our challenge in this next video. I promise you, you ain't going to want to miss it. I got a feeling old No Frills Edgar over there. We're going to work up a sweat, oh, son. Man. You should have wore your hocus today, man. Oh, man, I should have. So it's going to be on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Enough said.